What's up, YouTube? This is the College Entrepreneur. Derek, I'm going to be showing you how to sell your first shirt today. In the last video, I was talking about the challenge. Go to your Goodwill and find yourself a Ralph Lauren polo button down shirt. Now we're going to list it on eBay. So, first step is using completed listings to understand how auctions work. So right here, I typed in the search bar, Ralph Lauren polo button down dress shirts. And then this is what come, comes up. So over here, I chose to click auction, and I click condition used, because that's what we are going to be setting up today. So these are all of the recently ended auctions. You see right here, there's some that go for low. This one went for $13.49. Lower. This one went for $10.49. Here's this one. $18.45 free shipping. So what you want to do is you want to find a listing that went for a good amount. This one's a good one. This one's a good one too. $15.51. Let's look at this one. So this this completed listing, let's see, the bidding started at, you just click bids, started at $7.99. So I guarantee you this person probably went to Goodwill and bought this shirt for $5.99, listed the auction for $7.99 just to make sure they wouldn't lose money. Here's your shipping amount. Here's the listing. Now this listing is not the best listing I've ever seen in the world. Nice flaws, new shirt. Nice, no flaws, nice shirt. And they have all the info in here. Not bad. Not not great. We want to be great. But if you look at the pictures, the person, the list, the seller on this did did really good with the pictures. She measured it out, laid it flat, measured it out and took really detailed pictures of the logo the polo you know the horse logo and then the inside logo right here this is to verify that this shirt is in fact authentic so yeah that's a good listing so what i would do is if i'm thinking hey i want to sell a shirt like this i would go to this seller right here and i would click save this seller and then i would look at her other items their other tiger mom i'm assuming it's a her um, see our other items and I would look at our other items and I just watch her and I see what she does and how she does it um, and then get some inspiration from that and so over here we have another one this is a Ralph Lauren polo white Yarmouth button down collar Oxford dress shirt 18 so it's 18 and a half big size um, this one went for sixteen fifty with five dollars shipping. The bidding started at fourteen ninety nine. Not a bad, not a bad starting price. I probably would have put it lower, but but you see here, so they put all their item specifics in here, but then they had a very, very nice detailed listing, clearly stating what it is, clearly stating the size. Long sleeve cotton dress shirt looks brand new, tailored comfortable fit, describing the shirt. But then you also have the measurements right here. And this is extremely important. You need measurements because you should never make a buyer ask for measurements or more pictures. You should include all of the, that information so they don't even have to hesitate when deciding if they want to purchase the shirt. Another very important thing is a pet-free and smoke-free environment. Now this is only if you're selling your own shirts. If you go to the Goodwill store, you go to the thrift shop, and you're buying a shirt there, you cannot put this on your listing because that's not being honest. You don't know if it came from a pet-free or smoke-free environment. It may not smell like a pet or it may not smell like smoke, but you can't guarantee that. What if you sell it to somebody who's allergic to either of those things and something happens? I'm just saying you don't want to get put in that position. 
So be honest with your listings. This will help you develop a high reputable seller rating and will help your top seller rating status go higher. In the end, it's going to help you sell more items. Be honest. So yes, this is a great, great listing. And like I said before, what I would do is I'd click here, sell this, save the seller, and then I'd view other items, see what other kind of items here. Let's see, what kind of other items are we are we selling here? It's a bunch of different shirts for sale. Another cool thing that I like doing is you can click. So that right now it's items for sale from Coach Queen 40. So I can go here and I can go I can click completed listings and I can look at everything that this person sold lately for instance today they sold a uh, cardigan and I can I can look back at what what else they sold and see how they're doing with their listings and and use that for inspiration and it, and it's really you don't want to completely copy another seller but you want to take what sellers are doing right and build your own twist. So you want to take what another seller is doing and make it better or add your own personal flair. So it's it's really simple. It's it's not it's not e it's not hard to list an item. It's not hard to list a shirt. And I'm just going to show you how awesome this really is. So we have a Where'd it go? Back here. We have this dress shirt. Winning bid fifteen fifty one. Bidding started at fourteen ninety nine with three sixty shipping. So here we have our eBay fees calculator. This is RollbyCalc.com. Opening price. I think the opening price. Oops. Let's see what the opening price. I think it was fourteen ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. So opening price seven ninety nine. I'm gonna pop this in here. Closing price sixteen fifty. Shipping charge because they sh they charge five dollars on their shipping or three sixty. Sorry, three sixty. Gosh, I got this completely wrong. Fifteen fifty one. And they're charging three sixty on their shipping. Now, three sixty is not a bad shipping price because it covers almost every cost that you could possibly have but what you can do is if you ship first class you can buy envelopes on eBay and list them and they, it's gonna cost you like 250 so if you find envelopes on eBay that'll fit a shirt then I mean it's gonna be cheap so you don't have to go to the, the post office and buy these expensive envelopes no they're like I uh, forget what the price is. They're super cheap. I think it comes down to like 10, 20 cents an envelope on eBay, depending on how many you buy. So definitely look into that and also look into buying um, labels on eBay because that'll help you and save you tape. It'll help you save time and shipping methods. It'll expedite your whole process. So here we have, I'm going to just say the shipping cost 250 because you say to ship a shirt first class, I know the, sh the first class rates went up, so it's kind of hard to say, but I'm just going to say the cost of post is around 250 because they, they're not paying exactly 360 maybe, maybe they're paying close to that, but anyway, so the goal is to not pay more than $5 per shirt. If they got this at a Goodwill, then they probably didn't pay more than $5 for this shirt. So this is going to break down your fees. And this isn't completely accurate because it was last updated in 2012, but it'll get the point across. And and obviously there's going to be some differences. And but you got your um, your auctions over here. So if this is your first 50th auction, which is a free listing. Blah blah. blah all this stuff. Um, you go right here. These are your eBay fees. These are your PayPal fees. This is your total profit and loss margin. So a $9 profit for a shirt that you just bought 
at Goodwill for five dollars and it took you what like 30 minutes to list it if that so 30 minutes to go to the store come back list it put it on eBay and you just made nine dollars that's pretty good now imagine if you did that ten times so you went to the Goodwill and you bought ten shirts and then instead of taking thirty minutes maybe it took you an hour or two an hour and a half to two hours to list ten shirts they all sell for this much because you have a great listing you picked high quality shirts you just made ninety dollars and 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 that's in what an hour and a half two hours of work I mean it's it's simple it's it's kind of it's kinda of crazy how easy and fun that is so that's what I got for you today um, yeah um, if you guys have any questions do not hesitate to send me a message leave a comment leave a video response I want to see how this guy this worked out for you if you guys liked this video then like it leave a comment and subscribe because I'm going to have a lot of more videos coming for you guys. I got a lot of great ideas and a lot of great stuff to share with you. So like, comment, subscribe. And that's all for now.